Hello there guys, I have to do this again because my phone decided to die in the middle of recording. Anyway, so this is my um, latest model. <coughs> um, I haven't posted a video for a month or two, I think, I'm not too sure. Um, that's not because I haven't been doing models, it's because the last model I did, I didn't feel worthy with I didn't feel it was worthy of going up on YouTube. It was a 124th Celica GT4 Riley car. Um, and I got kind of um, held up by Xbox basically. Um, playing World of Tanks. <laughs> I sort of had to divide my attention between modelling World of Tanks and doing stash to my car anyway anyway that's by and by uh, so this is mini arts 135 uh, t55 t55 a mod 1981 kit number 37024 the non-interior version um, I've done it I've chose to do it in a semi whitewash so it wasn't all whitewash over the vehicle um, and then I've done some heavy weathering of that white bush and of the tank itself um so i hope you like it um i'm very happy with this one it's i i feel m myself that it's probably one of the better ones i've ever done um it's come out pretty awesome i think um some of you some of you might think otherwise but that's what i think so anyway um so, um, my thoughts on the kit, I'll start with a good point, um, it's incredible value, it's, um, I think I paid £35 um, from a UK um, um, distributor, not from China, obviously I probably would have got it cheaper in China, uh, from China, um, but yeah, from a UK one, it's £35. Um, it's awesome value for what you get and the detail of it, uh, the parts counts, um, some of the slide moulding, like the, the um, barrel is a one piece barrel, um, and yeah it's awesome detailing, uh, lots of photo etch, lots of parts, um, I'm not sure exactly how many parts, I don't say I haven't got the box anymore. Um, just quickly seeing if it says anywhere. No, it doesn't say anywhere. Yeah, it's got like workable tracks and workable torsion bars. Um, yeah, um, five five variants that you could do. Um, but yeah, so it's awesome value. Lots of detail. Um, lots of parts. Um, the interior version of this would even have even more parts um, and it would only be I think it was only about £10 more I didn't feel like doing the interior version on this, this occasion um, but you still get some of the interior bits in this kit um, not much um, it's only like some of the interior wall detailing um, just sort of underneath the turret in that part of the hull but there's no like engine or turret detail apart from the breech um, so yeah um, just trying to remember what I said in my last sort of take before my phone started to die um, so that's all the good point points um, you got quite a lot of scope for doing dioramas and doing different versions of the, the tank and all that sort of stuff. Um, the bad parts of the thing, um, bad parts of the model, uh, one would be, again, the amount of parts, you got this quite a big box and this wasn't even the interior version. So you like, you sort them through each, loads of different sprues, sprues to find the right part and it gets kind of tedious after a while. The same being um, the attachment points on some of the parts. 
um, for example, um, on the these little like handles. I don't know if you can see what I'm putting underneath the um, axe. Um, there, there's loads of attachment points on those really thin parts, like handles and that sort of stuff. Um, makes it very di difficult to clean up properly without breaking the part, without breaking it or damaging it. Which I've done a couple of times. I just had to sort of bike my way through it basically. Um, but um, yeah, loads of attachment points. Um, and the complexity of the the kit and like um, the one of these ammo boxes for example you've got two pieces of plastic the front and back and then you've got two pieces of photo etch that go on the f this this side and on this angle bit and then you've got like I think it was um, six pieces of Photoesh for the um, strap and then machine gun. I chose not to do the machine gun. Um, one, because I can be asked to do it at this point. I uh, was getting kind of frus frustrated with the kit um, because of just the, uh, the complexity of it, um, despite the fact that the way it turned out, I'm really happy with it anyway. But the machine gun goes on top of the turret. I didn't choose to do it because like I said I couldn't be asked and also this time I decided not to do the machine gun or in every tank model that I've done I've always done a machine gun and if it had one and this time I just decided not to um, one but because of what I said and also for a little bit of variety but the machine gun you've got the machine gun itself and then you've got um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-four parts, um, plus two more parts for the ammo canister that goes on the side. So it's very com complex. Definitely not a beginner model um, I would if I chose this for my first model I'd definitely struggle with it it probably put you off the hobby to be fair um, another complex part of the kit is the photo etch while one if you like doing photo etch and you're good at it you probably love it there's lots of photo etch as I said um, but if you don't like photo etch, like me, well, I like the easy photo etch, like the grills and that sort of stuff, and boxes, and you can do that, no problem. But when it comes to doing, like, um, the really delicate, tiny bits of photo etch that you've got to bend, like, five times, that gets really tedious, and it takes the fun out, and there's no plastic version of that piece on most of the bits that you do on the model so you've either got to do the photo etch or not have the bit on the kit and like I said that sort of zaps your mo mojo from it a bit um, but overall it's still a good kit um, fit is okay in places it's good in places it's not so good so overall I say okay um, but fit is okay, detail is excellent, um, value excellent, um, so yeah, overall I'm still happy with it, I still still like the kit, I probably wouldn't do another mini up one for a while, um, I'd probably just do some easier kits, um, more straightforward builds, um, but it's still, I still wouldn't not do one again. Um, but yeah, anyway, I raveled on for quite long now, so um, I say that that'll be it for me. I uh, hope you like it. Any comments, appreciated. Um, subscription is always welcome. And um, uh, I forgot the word now. Um, 
any criticisms welcome as well uh, always helps to um, move your ho hobby along if someone thinks you can do something better um, I forgot to say I don't it's not perfect I know it's not and sorry for the lighting by the way um, my little model corners um, a bit dark I've tried to get enough light as much light on it as I can um, but yeah I hope you like it and um, I'll see you in the next video have fun modeling guys goodbye